This is a special episode of the Repurpose Your Career podcast. We are celebrating our fifth anniversary of this podcast. Cue the music. Welcome to the Repurpose Your Career podcast, brought to you by Career Pivot. This podcast is where those of us in the second half of life come together to discuss how to repurpose our careers for the 21st century. Come listen to career experts give you proven strategies. Listen to people like you tell their stories on how they repurpose their careers. And finally, get your questions answered. Your host, Mark Miller, has made six career pivots over the last 30 years. He understands this is not about jumping out of the frying pan into a fire, but rather to create a plan where you make clear, actionable steps or pivots to a better future career. Are you ready to repurpose your career? Welcome to episode 246 of the Repurpose Your Career podcast. My name is Mark Miller, and I'll be your host every Monday for a discussion on what it's like to repurpose your career. A special note, I will not be publishing an episode the week of U.S. Thanksgiving holiday, nor will an episode be published the following week. It's time to take some time off and smell the roses. I will also not publish episodes the weeks of Christmas and New Year's. This week, I'm celebrating five years of producing the Repurpose Your Career podcast. I have been publishing an episode almost every week, with the exception of the times of Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's for the last five years. I want to take you on my journey, and hopefully I, I can inspire you to start your own podcast, as this has proved to be my best networking tool ever. I have met so many incredible people, built relationships with people I never would have met without the podcast. Before we get to the episode, let's have a word from our sponsor, Career Pivot. The Career Pivot membership community continues to help the members who are participating in this project grow and thrive. This is a community where everyone is there to help everyone else out, figure out what they want to do in the second half of life, and then make it happen. Let's hear what Sarah had to say about being part of the community. So, for example, when I was first exploring the idea of moving into higher ed and I was scheduling informational interviews or just um, networking meetings with people, I decided it would be helpful to have business cards. I was sort of struggling with how to, you know, what I should, what kind of verbiage I should use and it seemed like I needed two different ones or whatever. And I was able to post what I was thinking, you know, my sort of designs on the, on the um, community website and people were uh, gracious enough to give me really helpful feedback. So those kinds of things were really helpful and just sort of kept me moving along. Like, I feel like if I wasn't in the community, I could easily have stalled out at many different points along the way. And so um, it sort of kept my momentum going and kept me hopeful. I am recruiting new members for the next cohort. If you are interested in learning more about the endeavor, please go to careerpivot.com slash community. Now, on to the story behind the podcast. I published the first episode November 1st of 2016. Support the release of the second edition of Repurpose Your Career book. Listen to this snippet from the first episode where I explain the origins of the podcast. Now, I want to give you some history as to how we came up with this podcast. In January of 2016, I came up with the concept of career pivot office hours. And this came from the days of being in college, of where the the professor would announce and post office hours. And on Monday nights, I was going to make myself available, and I used a tool called Blab. Yes, this was a um, streaming video. Yeah, I got caught in the shiny, bright, shiny object syndrome, and I went after streaming video, which was a mistake. And we started out just thinking, well, I'll be there and I'll answer questions. Well, that didn't quite work. So we, with my intern, I started holding these sessions and we had discussions around popular blog posts that had done very well. They had been very highly rated. 
But we ended up with a lot of technical problems. There were a whole slew of issues. In July, I shut it down. And I said, we're going to take the summer off. And I don't remember August, September, I ran a survey in the Career Pivot community. We got very, very good responses. And out of that came the four show formats that I plan to alternate through. My first episode was, uh, okay, I was a bit stiff. I also cleaned up that audio as much as I'm, I'm a much better audio editor now than I was back then. By the way, prior to starting Career Pivot, I developed training and certification programs, both online and in person. I probably had done 20 hours of, of voiceovers for various online courses. I was decent at it, but not great at it. The four formats of the episodes were interviews with experts, interviews with people who had pivoted, audio chapters from the second edition of the book, and mailbag episodes where I answered your questions. Today, I'm producing the first two. But I've suspended the latter two. When I produce the fourth edition of Repurpose Your Career, I'll publish some audio chapters. The mailbag sessions proved difficult to produce because I couldn't get any of you to submit questions. One of the problems with podcasts is getting listeners to take action. That's because you're driving, walking the dog, running, working out at the gym, or doing something in general, doing something else while you're listening to the podcast. You have to remember to take action when you're done with the activity, which most people don't. By the way, I never produced an audio version of the third edition of the book because I did not have a good place to record it in late 2019 and then the pandemic hit. The second edition of the book was published in April 2017. My plan was to stop the podcast or put it on hold. However, I was having too much fun with the podcast. By the later half of 2017, each episode was being downloaded 200 or more times in the first 30 days, which, give you an idea, that's how sponsors measure is how many episodes are downloaded in the first 30 days. Which, by the way, put me in the top half of all podcasts on Apple Podcasts, which was then Apple iTunes. I was also getting about 2,000 downloads per month. That all changed in the middle of 2018. I have a love-hate relationship with AARP. I've done multiple projects with them with um, <clears throat> mixed results. AARP came to me to be a resource for an article about podcasts for baby boomers in early 2018. I gave them a bunch of resources. They fact-checked me twice. Then in the May edition of the AARP magazine, they published the article. They did not use any of the material I gave them, but they listed my podcast as one of three podcasts that people should listen to. Now, you have to understand, I was in the physical magazine. And the magazine had, at that time, a distribution of 29 million. Yes, M as in million. Well, I went from 2,000 downloads per month to 10,000 downloads per month in May of 2018. I haven't broken the 10,000 downloads per month since, though I've come close and expect to regularly do that in 2022. In fact, someone took a picture of the article in the magazine and emailed it to me because uh, I had no idea. Also, in May of 2018, I published the podcast episode, Jonathan Rauch, author of The Happiness Curve, Why Life Gets Better After 50. Well, that episode has been the number one downloaded episode in the history of this podcast. Uh, that original episode was downloaded 2,600 times, and I published it again as an encore episode in January of 2020, and that's been downloaded 1,600 times, so well over 4,000 times. Also, in May of 2018, I published my first podcast episode about moving to Mexico. Some of my most downloaded episodes have been the ones about my expat relationships. The summer of 2018, my wife and I spent June through September in Ahihi, Mexico. We returned to Austin in the middle of October of 2018 to clean out our condo and prepare it for rental. 
during the time we were gone, our neighbors had been picking up our mail and putting it in our condo. When I returned, I found five books from major publishers, which had been mailed to me, totally unsolicited. They all wanted me to read the books and have the authors on their podcast. I went, huh? Huh? I found this quite confusing until I realized that I'd gotten on their radar screens and I was now being pitched. This has only grown since then. I now get pitched 10, 20 times a week to have someone on my podcast. See what I mean about the podcast being my greatest networking tool? In 2019, I continued to use the podcast to support the launch of the third edition of Repurpose Your Career. I never produced an audio version, so... In January of 2020, over 9,000 episodes were downloaded, and the average episode was 800 to 1,000 downloads in the first 30 days of publishing. By the way, that's pretty much plateaued since then. Well, then the pandemic hit, and for the rest of 2020, I worked on publishing episodes that would help the audience cope. When I ran my survey in late 2020, the results were pretty dismal with a 50% unemployed or underemployed rate. And normally that's in my typical surveys, it's 10 to 20%. As we entered 2021, January downloads had recovered to about 9,800 downloads. I continue to focus on how people could manage their careers through the pandemic. This included episodes like how to switch industries. I interviewed Glenn Swike in February of 2021. Glenn is a leading executive recruiter out of Atlanta, and he said the following. The question is, what skills do you have that transcend industry borders? So whatever it is, I don't care what your role is, marketing or sales or finance, uh, you have to sort of think about what have you done that could help another company in another industry? Then I did an outstanding episode with my friend Diane Wingert, Wingert called The Entrepreneurial Mindset for an Accidental Entrepreneur with Diane Wingert. That was episode number 214. Let's listen to what Diane had to say. I found myself in my mid-50s being harassed and recognizing, I even spoke with an attorney who said, "Um, you don't have a case, so it's not unlawful harassment, but make no mistake, you are being harassed. And because you're in your mid-50s, if I were you, Diane, I would get out. I would not look for another job. I would start my own thing. Well, I wasn't ready to hear that. But it turned out to be really good advice. So I think I represent a group that has grown quite a bit in numbers since COVID. Accidental entrepreneurs, what I call late to the party entrepreneurs, or people who are finding themselves on the entrepreneurial path who never expected to be there. I then had Fawn Germer, How to Win the Job You Want When You've Lost the Job You Need in the episode Being Relevant is more important than your experience with Fawn Germer. Now, this whole concept around relevance is something I've picked up on, and not everyone's really fond of that, but it is so true. Let's listen to what Fawn had to say. The people who are hiring, when you start going off saying, oh, but I've got all this experience, they just think that means you've got old, useless, irrelevant experience. They don't even care if you are the absolute best person for the job today. They have to know that you're the best person for the job in five years and 10 years. And that just comes by showing a continued effort to make yourself relevant. The favorite episodes for the second half of 2021 have been focused on mindset and LinkedIn. My interview with Chris Farrell about the big quit and older workers has also done well. 
I have some pretty big name authors queued up for the end of the year, and I'll have my first commercial podcast sponsor in December of 2021. Woohoo! I am hopeful for 2022, but we're not out of the woods yet. I'm still digging around trying to understand employment numbers and what they mean for the typical 50 plus member of our society. Let me know if you'd like me to do an episode on podcasting in general, as this is an area I'm focusing on in 2022. I will move to publishing a blog post every other week in 2022, but continue to publish a podcast weekly. Thank you very much for being loyal supporters of this through for five years of podcasting. Take a moment, go to careerpivot.com, sign up for the weekly Career Pivot Insights newsletter, which is sent out every Sunday. You'll get a weekly update on this podcast and white papers and new blog posts. While there, don't forget to check out the Career Pivot community, which can be found at careerpivot.com slash community. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Look for Career Pivot on Facebook and LinkedIn. You will also find me on Twitter at Career Pivot. Thank you for listening all the way to the end of the Repurpose Your Career podcast. You will find all the show notes at careerpivot.com slash episode 246. You can also subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Podbeam, Overcast, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, and lots of other places where podcasts can be found. In fact, this podcast can be found on the Repurpose Your Career podcast channel on YouTube. Hope to see you next Monday for another episode of Repurpose Your Career podcast.